Guys, I hope that you guys are doing amazing wherever you are. My name is Boom Shaka and I welcome you to my channel. I hope that you guys have been enjoying my INFJ videos. If you haven't, let me know why not and if you have, let me know why as well. And if you guys have any suggestions for videos, please do let me know. I'm always adding to my list. Now, one of the reasons, or one of the reasons, one of the things I really wanted to speak to you guys about is how INFJs are us in specific, specifically maybe only me, but I really think it's INFJs. We get stressed out, really stressed out. We we hate ourselves. We don't we feel out of balance when we're going against our true nature. Now, you guys are probably thinking, well, I spent a lot of time not being in my true nature because I'm a chameleon. I'm kind of emulating everyone around me. So what are you what are you talking about? I am saying that if we spend too much time emulating other people, being chameleons, kind of being an extrovert because everyone around us is an extrovert, or being a party person because everyone around us is a party person, or being a person who is a health freak because everyone around us is a health freak. If we're doing that for a long period of time, and by long I mean a week or more, then you will notice that you will start getting stressed out. You will start getting, you'll feel uncomfortable. You'll start either despising yourself, hating yourself, or feeling out of place. You're going to start feeling like something is wrong. You're going to start feeling uncomfortable with yourself. It's not because, you know, that nature or chameleon that you're taking on is wrong for you. Perhaps that's part of your true nature. But we need, as INFGs, it's imperative. I've noticed it for myself specifically. It's imperative that I spend at least a few hours every week in my true nature by myself or with other people doing what I love to do on my own, not based on any chameleon nature. Do you know what I'm saying? It's so important that I've made sure that my schedule, I am a scheduled person, I made sure that my schedule includes this time. How do I do it? Well, I'm a little bit weird about it. I'm actually fanatical about it now because I am much older than some of most of you probably. And I've noticed that I am happiest. And right now I am happy because I'm spending a lot of time in my true nature. I'm spending a lot of time on my own, obviously, which is fine with me. But I'm spending a lot of time being myself. Right now doing these videos, I'm being myself. I am being weird, silly, nonsensical, abstract, blah, blah, blah. I'm doing that. Living in my cave. I love this apartment of mine. It's tiny, but it is mine. And the space is mine to be as, as I wish. I don't have to play any roles. I don't have to be something to someone. And so when I spend a lot of time, as much time as possible, with our busy schedules, being my true self, whatever that true self means to you, it doesn't have to be a perfect self, it doesn't have to be an ideal self, it doesn't have to be, you know, whatever, it just has to be your true self. Once you figure out that, once you're able to do that, when you, once you're able to spend time in that true self, as much as possible, I'm not saying all the time, I don't think it's possible for us to be like that all the time, because... We hang out with people, and as soon as we hang out with people, it all goes to shit. I'm not even joking. As soon, as soon as I move out of this cave and go hang out with anyone, it doesn't matter who they are, it doesn't matter how much I love them, it doesn't matter how much they allow me to be authentic, I will automatically take on their chameleon, the chameleon effect. I'll automatically start taking on their values and their beliefs and their concepts. It's automatically. It's just so automatic, I don't even think about it anymore. Right? So it's very important to me, especially as I've been getting older, that I really understand what my true self is. But not only that, I spend time in it. Time, it's so important, that time. It doesn't matter how long it is, really. It's so crucial that you do it on a consistent basis. Now, a lot of you are probably in university. Perhaps you have roommates. Um, maybe you're staying with your, living with your parents. Maybe you work at a job uh, where you're surrounded by crazy extroverts. Whatever it might be, you might be living a life where it is actually very difficult for you to spend any time at all being your true self. I understand. I completely understand. This is the reason I've created this kind of weird schedule for myself where I get up every morning. I get up every morning. I get up every morning and I sit down. I sit down and I journal. I journal for as long as I feel like I need to journal. And then I meditate. Those two things. I might be dying. I might be um, on the way to the hospital. <laughs> 
I might, it might be the end of the world, but my meditation and my journaling, those two practices are absolutely crucial for me because they help me with this authenticity. They help me with figuring out my true self and being in my true self as much as possible. Now, how do they help it? Well, when you journal, what you're doing is you're writing down what you care about, what you like, what you don't like. And the more you do that, the more you get in tune with yourself because and you have to do it with pen and paper because it's you basically your heart and your hand and your body is physically connected to the pen, right? And so when you're writing, it's coming straight from you. When you're typing, it's very impersonal. When you're writing, it's actually it's very hard to be impersonal about it. You know, you're writing with your fingers, you feel it, you sense it. And so you're writing out who you are, what are you, what do you like, what don't you like? I love this, I hate this, I want this, I don't want this, kind of thing, right? It'll come out automatically. You won't even have to write about it. I'll just be writing la 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 la. You know, I'll just write writing nonsense, gibberish. And all of a sudden I'll have this, this insight and I'll be like, oh my god, I had no idea. I love this stuff. What was the last insight I had? Um, the last time I was journaling, a few days ago, and I was writing down some random stuff. I usually kind of, you know, write random stuff just to get the, the ball rolling. I'll just be writing, I love my life, I love my life, I love this world, blah, 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 whatever it might be. You can write whatever you want to write. And all of a sudden I had this insight where I was thinking to myself, I want to be next to the ocean. I want to live next to the ocean. Right now I live in a magnificent city called Chiang Mai, and I love it here. But weirdly enough, I had this random desire, this random thing pop up that said, I would love to, I'd love to live next to the ocean. I really wanted to. In that moment, I was thinking to myself, oh my God, I've never really had this thought before. I visited the ocean a lot and I love the ocean, but I never had this thing where I'm like, I love to live next to her. And so it came up and I realized, wow, this is actually something my subconscious is telling me, right? I wouldn't have known if I hadn't been journaling. Also, I meditate every single day and that really helps you connect with your true self because when you're meditating, basically you're polishing a smudged river, mirror, mirror, smudged mirror. Every single time you meditate, you remove another layer, a very tiny, thin layer, but every single time you do it, you remove one more layer, remove one more layer. And as INFJs, we have a lot of layers, right? We have a lot, of, more than onions, more than... Anyone else you might know, we have a billion layers. And so every single time I meditate, I remove one more layer and I realize, oh, this is what's underneath. Interesting, I had no idea. And then I'll meditate again, I'll, have, I'll remove one more layer, one more layer. And little by little, I kind of start seeing an outline of who I am truly. And it's so fascinating because I'm thinking to myself, I had no idea this is who I was because I had been playing a role for so long that I had forgotten completely who I was, which is so sad to me, really. It's sad to me to think that I've been living like this for the last 34 years. Like I, I feel sad for myself when I think of that. That's okay, we're moving forward and onward, and that's one of the, again, main reasons I'm doing this, these videos, because I don't want you guys to live like this, especially if you're in your early 20s, or even better, in your teens. If you can figure this stuff out right now, oh boy, it's going to be amazing for you because you're going to be able to live your life being more authentic to who you are, being more of who you are rather than playing these damn freaking roles that I despise. I hate them. I hate them. All right, I'm just going to calm down now. But seriously, I'm not even joking. So meditation and journaling, right? Like that, That's my morning routine. A lot of times, actually, I'll sit down after I meditate and journal, and I'll just stare off into space. Now, if, if I have someone next to me, which is very rare nowadays, but if I do, I won't stare off into space unless they're sleeping. But mostly, I'll sit down and I'll be staring off into space because I'm trying to assimilate what's going on with my journaling and my meditation into myself. If I had some kind of insight while I was journaling, I'll sit down, I'll stare off into space, and I'll think, okay, all right, so this is what I think, this is how it worked out, how does it integrate with what I'm doing, this is what I'm going to be doing with it, how am I going to make sure that I bring more of that into my life, blah, 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 right? I spend a lot of time doing that as well. Because it does not matter if you have an insight if you're not going to actually use it, right? I have so many insights about myself where I'm like, I have actually never used this to my benefit, right? And that's not a good thing. So that's what I want you guys to do as well. Now, I've spoken about meditation a billion times before. I think I've spoken about journaling as well a billion times before. I've spoken about being in your cave. But all of this is all so that you can be more authentic to yourself. 
figure out what your true self is and then live it because it's so hard in this world that's constantly pulling you here and there and everywhere to be that person that you really want to be not only that but we hate ourselves in so many different ways we're like no this is not good enough i should be this i should be that we don't like being an introvert we don't like being an intuitive we don't like this that it's so annoying why can't we just like ourselves uh that's a video that's a video for another time but again i'm going to end this video now because i have been blabbing on for 10 minutes and longer my goodness and so i hope this makes sense to you guys i, ho I hope that i was able to kind of make you understand a little bit where i'm coming from and why you should really try to be as true to yourself as possible spend at least a few minutes hours days a week a month to do that it's really important i hope that you guys have an amazing day wherever you are thank you so much for watching for listening for all your suggestions i'm always open to new suggestions and new comments and feedback so let me know what's going on in your head and i'll see you guys the next time around bye for now